So was this spirit of Moloch and child sacrifice destroyed once and for all by King Josiah, as I mentioned earlier? Sadly, no. In the late 20th and now in our 21st century, this detestable practice of child sacrifice is still an issue, but under a new package and a new name. Welcome to hell. Not what you were expecting? This is the Valley of Hinnom, also known as the Valley of Gehenna, or the Greek transliteration Gehenna. Today, part of this valley is a beautiful park, but a few thousand years ago, it was anything but beautiful. The Valley of Hinnom is located southwest of the Temple Mount and meets the Kidron Valley directly south of the city. It is here that the city dump was located in Jesus' time, but before that, it was a place of unthinkable horror. Molech was an Ammonite god with the head of a bull. The worship of Molech entailed placing a child, usually one's firstborn, in the hands of the idol of Molech to be burned alive. The Bible, of course, addresses this despicable act. Do not give any of your children to be sacrificed to Molech, for you must not profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. One of the places mentioned in the Bible where this took place is here, called Tophet. They have built the high places of Tophet in the valley of ben Hinnom to burn their sons and daughters in the fire, something I did not command, nor did it enter my mind. Then God repeats this same statement later in Jeremiah. They built the high places for Baal in the valley of ben Hinnom to sacrifice their sons and daughters to Molech, though I never commanded, nor did it enter my mind that they should do such a detestable thing and so make Judah sin. You may be wondering, how could anyone do such a horrible thing? Even the wisest king of Israel succumbed to this evil practice. On a hill east of Jerusalem, Solomon built a high place for Chemosh, the detestable god of Moab, and for Molech, the detestable god of the Ammonites. That hill east of Jerusalem was the Mount of Olives. Almost 300 years later, King Josiah destroyed all of the objects of false gods around Jerusalem, including in the Valley of Hinnom. He desecrated Tophet, which was in the Valley of Ben-Hinnom, so no one could use it to sacrifice their son or daughter in the fire to Molech. And in the New Testament, Jesus quotes Isaiah 66, 24 in Mark chapter 9. And if your eye causes you to stumble, pluck it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell, or Gehenna in Greek, where the worms that eat them do not die and the fire is not quenched. This imagery would have been well understood to Jesus' audience because south of Jerusalem in the Valley of Hinnom during this time frame was the city trash dump where there was constant things being burned. So was this spirit of Moloch and child sacrifice destroyed once and for all by King Josiah, as I mentioned earlier? Sadly, no. In the late 20th and now in our 21st century, this detestable practice of child sacrifice is still an issue, but under a new package and a new name. Abortion. See, the enemy's favorite weapon against humanity is deception. This is quite evident in the description Jesus gave of the devil in John chapter 8. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Many people are unfortunately deceived by the enemy believing that a fetus is not a baby. But actual science proves this, and the Bible even speaks on this. When a woman is pregnant, she is carrying life. There is a baby in her womb. David wrote, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. And then God told Jeremiah, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. The Bible is clear. Every child in the womb, God has a plan for. Yet, sadly, since 1973, over 60 million babies were aborted just here in the United States. And whatever future they were going to have was snuffed out. Now, it would be kind of a downer to just end my review of the Valley of Hinnom right here. So let's inject some hope to end this video. Let's be clear. I am absolutely, totally pro-life. And my wife and I have backed this up by fostering and adopting. But also, please understand, I am not casting judgment on you if you did make a decision to have an abortion. If you do not remember anything else from this video, please remember this. With Jesus, there is always forgiveness and restoration when we go to him. In John chapter 8, a woman who was caught in adultery was brought to Jesus. The Jewish law says that death is the only punishment for adultery. Then in verse 7, Jesus said, He who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. The people ended up being convicted and left. 
Then in verse 10, Jesus asked her, Woman, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. No matter the smallest white lie of a sin to the most heinous of all sins, there is no condemnation in Jesus when we come to him and sin no more. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This concludes my review of the Valley of Hinnom. As I near the end of my reviews from my trip to Israel, let me give you a quick rundown on what you can expect as I wrap up this Israel series. Up next, I will do a short video discussing Nehemiah's wall, followed by a review of the awesome Hezekiah's tunnel. Then I will touch on the Pool of Siloam. Then we will look at the southern steps that led to the temple in the first century. And then I will do a review of the Temple Mount. I may also do a review of some of my miscellaneous musings, which would be things that didn't fit into the other reviews. And I'll probably conclude it all with a top 10 style video of my favorite places I visited in this amazing country. But until then, thank you for watching. And as always, God bless. Thank you.